James Kaufman, World News Report today, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, today is January 24th, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. I believe that this may be that M5.5 flare that they downgraded to an M1.5 flare. Although the Europeans kept it as a 5.5 M class flare. We are being hit by heavy plasma. We are in the middle of a solar storm. And really have been uh, for <clears throat> almost 20 hours, ladies and gentlemen. Still over 10, 12 centimeters cubed. Uh, we were actually peaking almost at 30 centimeters cubed. Now, this is all so strange because, remember, there was no prediction for anything to hit us. Hmm. Although I did predict it, didn't I? If you jump over to NOAA's ACE real-time space weather, of course, they are hiding this event. Nowhere near do you see any 30 centimeters, 20 centimeters even cubed of plasma hitting the planet. They've got it at about 12, I'd say here. And then what they would call some bad data, I'm sure up here at 200 centimeters cubed plus. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, another blown forecast by NASA. What is a bit scary is that, uh, well, the European Space Agency missed it as well, and we have several more flares inbound. So uh, it looks like uh, they missed it by at least a half a day. Must have been a fast-moving CME, one of the new terms that they've introduced to us lately. Watch them have this black CME catch this other black CME off the chart, just missing us and actually surpassing the other one. I mean, how lucky can one man be? Earth is this blue ball here. Y'all can barely see with my cursor. Unbelievable. And look, the solar winds down here, they've missed us as well. It's a Christmas miracle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do want you to know that the slime balls over at NOAA did Monday mo morning, which is today, uh, armchair quarterback this thing, and they've worked it in so that they're seeing plasma on the 25th which is wrong. It's today that we're being hit. Uh, although we might get hit again tomorrow. Uh, very hard to determine. They should know because this thing hits stereo A. And usually it's about 48 hours later when it hits the planet from stereo A. And then as you see here, it hits stereo B about 48 hours after that when they're giving you good information. Now, all of a sudden, instead of going down to 300, they have the solar winds going up to 450 or 500 kilometers per second. Who predicted that? Hmm. Let me recall. And before we go, a quick honorable mention, a double C.01 flare uh, happened today. As you can see right here, two small C flares. Uh, and... Uh, Nothing to really worry about whatsoever, but I did want to mention that. God bless you guys. Please share our videos. Please subscribe. And always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.